Previously on Guiding Light. Do you really want to make me happy, Alan? I made you happy once, and I can do it again. You're delusional. She's mine now, and she always will be mine. No! No! How long does it take to break up a wedding? <laughs> Depends on the wedding frame. So, exactly what are we going to do when they show up? Uh, whatever we need to do, you know, whatever he needs. I don't know, Al. You know, Alan's a dangerous man who happens to be our landlord. Oh. He... What Coop's going to do is going to change everything for everybody. I don't know how, what's going to happen. <sighs> So just whatever you kids need to make you happy. I mean, all I can do, I can give you the keys to my car, a trip to Greece, you know. How about a glass of wine? <laughs> You're so easy, Frank. Have you, have you read Coop's book yet? You haven't finished it? What? I'm a little busy, Pop. It's pretty good. It's romantic. <laughs> no, he's got special talent. He does. Your brother. Yeah, no, I know. I know he does. Hey, listen, if, if you were to write a book, what would you call it? Today? What the hell happened? No, cautiously optimistic, I think. You know, I don't I... Oh, I like that. That's good. Yes, what's up? Hey, Daisy. Oh, your Uncle Henry is bringing home a new bride. What? Coop's getting married? Uh, uh, not exactly. Well, whatever. As long as there's a happy ending, I need to know that those still exist. <laughs> and everything fell apart with Bill and Lizzie. Uh, excuse me, young lady, what exactly are you doing there? I thought we were <laughs> celebrating. Nice try. Okay, one sip, but don't tell your mother. Thank you. Hmm. So you guys want to know how things are with me and Grady? No. No. Oh, well, things are great. I'm very happy. We'll take happy wherever we can get it, you know. Thank you. All right, well, I should have known the adoption agency would call. I know. So I'm gonna try to get away for Valentine's Day. Forget how stressed out we are. Yeah. Why do you think they need to see us? Oh, I don't know. You know, we forgot to sign a form or something. I'm sure it's nothing. I don't know. I kind of told off the adoption counselor. No, you didn't. What you did was fine. You stood up for me. You know, if anything, you show them how committed we are to each other and how committed we are to starting a family. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Alan, I want this baby so much. Mr. and Mrs. Camelighting. Hi. Lizzie. Smile. Um, you have to come with me and see your mother. I mean it. We have to stop this wedding. No, 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 no. I already talked to mom and granddad going through with the wedding. You can't want to marry Alan. I don't know what to tell you. If it bothers you that much, pretend you're watching someone else's wedding. Lizzie, I mean, you and I don't think that Coop and Beth are very good, but this, I mean, this is a travesty. This isn't love. Thank God. Love isn't a sure thing. Granddad, on the other hand, is right up there with death and taxes. Lizzie. Look, Mom... Loved Rick. She loved him. And he lied to her about Peyton. And she loved Edmund, and he locked her up. <laughs> yeah. And she loved Dad. And we know where that went, so you know what? Who can blame her for going with what she knows? Even if what she knows isn't what she wants. Life isn't about getting what you want. It's about doing the best with what you have. Have you seen the programs? 
They're nice for such short notice. More ginger ale, sir? Mm. Yes, and please keep them coming in the champagne glass. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. Can I Wait. talk to you for a minute? No, I can't right now. Lillian, I'm, I'm walking Beth down the aisle, and it's... Oh, uh, well, I think we've all gone crazy. You're best man. Well, she, she needs a friend right now. You know you know what they say? Keep your friends close. And, and your enemies closer, right? yes. So you don't have to ask me why I'm Alan's best man. There's a... Hey, Rick, do you, do you have the ring? See, yeah, it's right here. Good. Alan, yeah. I cannot believe what you are doing to my daughter. I'm saving her, Lillian. She reminds him of the promises he made On another day and to another lover And although sometimes he makes her wanna stay In her eyes I see you're reaching for the door Now how will they hold on Hold on to another night together How will they hold feels low, everybody feels high, everybody's feet are on the ground and heads in the sky. This is supposed to be Beth? Well, I don't think that was the plan exactly. Actually, none of it was planned. What's the plan now? There is no plan. We'll figure it out. <sighs> you know, I, I like Beth, I do. She was always really good to me, but I wouldn't put Beth and Coop together. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I never really put you and Grady together either. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, where's the good stuff? The plate, silverware... You're looking at it, kid. Okay. No matter what we might think, this is, is going to be like a fairy tale moment for Beth and Coop. Maybe the fairy tale moment of their life. And they're going to show up here. They're going to walk in here on the three of us sitting around drinking. Uh, two, 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 actually. Okay, whatever. Three. All right, the point is picture a knight in shining armor. He's riding up on his white horse to rescue the princess he loves from this evil Beth king. Beth was a princess. I know, I was there. Yeah, and Alan's about as evil I, as... I know, uh, okay? And he brings her back <laughs> to his castle. Does this place scream castle to you? No, uh, this place screams fortress to me. I, we've just fired shots at the Spalding family. So we're making dinner here, and we should be digging a moat. Can it be a fortress tomorrow and a castle today? I don't know. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to come up with something more regal than chili, huh? Ah, no buzz burgers either, Pop. You two are getting into this too? You hopeless romantics. Uh, maybe you and I are. I think Uncle Frank's just hopeless. 
Oh, no. Frank is taking a tally away for the weekend. There's nothing sacred around this place. No way. It's like love is contagious or something. Yeah, like the flu. Except without the nausea. Yeah, sometimes with nausea. Oh, come on, you guys. Come on. Let's get this thing going. We're going to make this place look like something. Come on. All champagne. Right, candles. Right. Come on. All right. I'm on it. Congratulations. This is your official notification that you're on our waiting list. <gasps> We're on the list? We're having a baby. I can't wait to tell my family it. Uh, you know what? Call them. Tell them we're coming right over. Then we got some news. Thank you. Thank you so much for believing in us. Congratulations again. Uh, honey, I'll meet you out there. I'm going to get a copy of the letter. Okay. Extra copy. Is that okay? Get a copy of the letter. Of course. I don't need a copy of that letter. I don't know what you mean. We're not moving up on that list ever, are we? Our background check Listen. revealed some troubling details. Yeah, okay. Um, if this is about uh, the gap in my employment history... It's about your wife's association with a prominent member of the Santos crime family. Marina? <laughs> Marina hasn't been in touch with Danny Santos? Danny Santos? In years. Any prior connection to organized crime is enough of a red flag. Especially the Santos crime family, the way they terrorized this town. Terrorized? You're on the list, Mr. Mallet. Well, of course we are. Of course we're on the list. Because if you would have rejected our application due to some uh, personal problem you have with the Santos family, then, then we could sue you. You're on the list. This isn't over. It's not over. No, I, I'm sorry. That's better. Now, can you hear me? Is that your dad? Okay, where? All right. <sighs> Apparently, there's been some single car collision, major accident leading back up. All right, let's go do it then. Need some help with her? I need a coat. Need a doctor. Back. Is Rick Bauer here? This guy needs a doctor. <sighs> yeah, in uh, Springfield, it's a business company. Yeah, company. You don't have to marry Alan. He's gone over the edge. I don't want you to go there, too, darling. Could you just hand me my bouquet, please? You don't love him. I am doing this for the man that I love and his future and his family's future, even if I can't be a part of it. So once again, you're Alan's victim. The music is starting. Beth, not my last to do. Cyrus, your secretary. You know You're drunk. You need to sit down before you fall down. Come on. No, no, no. I'm leaving. Cause weddings make me sick. 
It's okay, nothing to see here. I still can't believe you're doing this. Well, the last line of defense here, I'm, I'm trying to protect you. You don't have to do this, Beth. Okay, you don't have to make this this thing a charade. You don't love Al. Just turn around and, and Rick, forget about Rick, this whole thing. Don't. Think of yourself. I think, think of, you. Think of, of yourself. Think of yourself and your children and Philip. Why did you say that? Because he's indirectly responsible for you even being here. This isn't your family, Beth. This is his family. Rick. You could start all over. Walk me down the aisle. Beth, don't do this. Rick, don't. walk me down the aisle or I'll do it. My don't do this. Hey, where's the paramedics? Did the victims over the Cedars? There were no victims. What? You can't find a driver. I gotta go call the chief. That's crazy. That makes no sense whatsoever. How could someone walk away from that? Oh my god. What? It's Grandpa's car. Daisy, you did a beautiful job. This is very romantic, very castle-like. Yeah. Hey, did anybody get the phone? I missed it. They'll call back. What time is the wedding? The wedding should have started already. Not if Coop was stopping it. Did I have a car pulling up? I don't think so, Bob. I could have heard a car pulling up. Coop? Oh, thank God. Oh, he answered the phone. Grandpa answered the phone. Bring what's wrong. Was your car stolen? What's wrong? There's been an accident. Uh, the car is totaled. The uh, the whole thing went up in flame. Grandpa? Hello? Marina, what happened? <laughs> Who was in the car? Who was in the car? Coop! It's Coop! It's Coop! Hello? Hey, Buzz, come out. Hello? Is he okay? He was headed towards a wedding. Is he okay? There's no sign of him here, Buzz. So, uh, what I'm, you know, uh, what we're thinking is that he probably uh, walked away. And uh, he, uh, you were talking about something about a wedding? He could, he's probably headed there on foot, Buzz. So he, uh, he probably just walked away. Buzz, Buzz, was, was anybody else in the car? I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I, I, huh? Karina? Uh, Frank, it's me. It's Mallard. Talk to me. Single car collision. No sign of the driver. It's, uh, fire department, uh, it's here now. The whole thing burst into flames before we got here, and they, and they just put it out now. And, uh, I gotta tell you, Frank, it, it's a mess. Uh, the car's a mess. This, none of this looks good. It doesn't look good, Frank. It's me. Operation Junk Bum is going as planned. I got Cyrus believing that I am no threat to him. But Lizzie thinks it too. Oh, oh. she's coming. Gotta go. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, oh. oh thank you. I was looking for those. You are too drunk to drive. You can go back to the wedding. Can you walk? Because they're not leaving you here. Not going to leave me here? You know, I thought of something. Maybe you'll catch your mom's bouquet. <laughs> I bet you Cyrus would love that. 
Well, I'm not marrying Cyrus or anyone. You got that? couldn't talk her out of it. How do you sleep at night, Alan? From now on, I'll sleep next to Beth. You look beautiful, Beth. Friends, we are gathered here today to join Alan and Beth. At Excuse me, Reverend. We all know why we're here today, and I have prepared a few choice words for my blushing bride. You wrote vows? Yes. Beth, words cannot express how much this day means to me. I want you to know that I promise to be there for you in sickness and in health, for rich or for poor, through your disappointments, through your failures, rumors, gossip. You know, our family is much stronger because we have been tested. And facing those challenges with you has shown me truly the kind of woman you are. And even still, I love you. And I forgive you. Please in a world this. where so much hangs in balance, I want you to know this. Beth, I will be your constant for the rest of your life, I will be there for you, always watching you. Beth, is there anything you'd like to say to Alan? I do. We'll get to that. But first, if there's anyone here who objects to this marriage, let him speak now. that I could have ever believed you could have been anything other than than who you are. And who am I? I don't know. I guess that's been our problem the whole time, huh? Who are you calling, Cyrus? No, I'm not calling Cyrus. I'm calling you a cab. You won't even give me a ride. Huh. I've given you enough. Stay away from me. Anything else you have to say? To me, goes through Cyrus, okay? Hi, I need a cab. <sighs> this doesn't make sense. Just stay here, okay? It doesn't make sense, well, no. You stay here, I'll check everything out. Yeah, there's no way he could have walked away from that. There's just no way he could have walked away. There's... Well, we got team search in the area, okay, honey? We're oh. going to find him. We'll yeah, find him. I... When is the last time I called him? Oh, God, I can't remember what I told him. I can't remember the last thing I said. Shh, stay right here, okay? Just stay right here. I'll check it out. No, I just... You guys got those teams out searching the area? Wait, it's a, it's a cell phone. What? No. If, I can, if I can get it on, I can see if it's even his. Is it working? Yes. It's his. It's working? It's his. Bring up the, uh, bring up the call history. Okay, um, oh, um, last call. Last call was, it was to Beth. Okay, last call. What was the last call he received? Last call received. Oh, God. It's Alan. Here, you know, 
I bet that Coop got out of the car and he just walked to the wedding, like like Mallet said. That's it, right? Okay, Pop, you know what? Why don't we walk over to Cedars and see if Coop checked himself in, okay? Over season. Get checked for chest pains by Remy. What? Wait, well, I want to say, why are we hearing about this now? Huh? I just, it was just, uh, the test came out fine. I was fine. I didn't want anybody to worry. That's probably, it's just Coop probably just didn't want anybody to worry. That's probably it. But can I go too? You no, know, why don't you stay here and handle calls, okay? Okay, you know, I bet this is a mistake, and, and Beth and Cooper are just going to show up. He he got there. I, I can feel it. Yeah, maybe. Frank! I'm coming, Pop. You going to be here by yourself, okay? What are you doing? Listen. Get your bag. Thinking, it's in the car. I'll be like, I'm sorry. Is it really I, you? I went by the house and they told me that you were here. Uh, hey. Sweetie. Hey. Okay. Call 911. Son. Welcome home. Hey. Oh, good. All right? Uh, oh, my God. You're bleeding, yeah, sweetheart. You're bleeding, sweetheart. <gasps> no. There's been an accident. Oh. Wake up. Ow. The cab's almost here. Oh. oh how was the wedding? Um, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't there. You weren't there? Why? Because I am here. Look at you. So pretty. Okay. All right. No, you no. Are. Come You're on. You're so pretty, on. just like Roxy, soft, warm, and fluffy. Oh, great. Okay. You know what? I certainly hope that you're taking better care of her or of yourself. Come on. Where is everyone? Uh, is there any news on Coop? No, we were hoping he came back here. Frank and Buzz went to the hospital. I'm uh, just holding down the fort. What? Um. Uh, Nothing. Just, uh, Buzz called this place a fortress before, like he knew there was going to be trouble. Uh, Coop was going to break up the wedding. He was going to bring Beth back here. I want to go across the street. Okay, we'll go. Are you going to be okay here? Hello? I, yeah, yeah, I, I want to wait here in case uh, Coop calls or shows up or something. Okay, okay we'll right. call you as soon as we know something, all right? Right here. He was on his way to stop the wedding. What the hell's going on? I'm gonna check to see if Cooper's brought in. What? Hey, Dad, I found a nurse who, uh. Oh my god.
got to the house and they told me that this was happening. So on my way out here, I heard a crash. When I got to this car, it was completely in flames and there was nobody there but me. So I, I managed to pull the driver out. You but could have been killed, son. It was Coop Bradshaw. So what I, did you just say? It was. How is he? Uh, what happened? Well, I, I don't. I don't know. I took him to Cedars. I get. Why? Beth. Hey. Hey, hey. Honey. Hey, Rick. What's, what's going? On? How many people know you're back? How many? A few people at the house. Everybody here. Why? Beth. 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 Why did you do it? Why did you do it? I didn't do anything to you. Oh my God. I'm gonna call Bob. I'll be right there. Wait, Rick. Philip, do you want to go get checked at the hospital? No, I'm fine. You go. I'm so glad you're back. It's all right. Go, go. Beth needs you. Go. What are you going to do? Go. I'm going to stay and talk to Alan. Alone? It'll be fine. Go. Let's take a walk. What's up with a candle? Um, What's up with that? There was an accident. Uh, the car was totaled, uh, but Coop wasn't there, so my family went to the hospital. They don't know what happened or where he Coop, is okay, or okay, if okay, he's hey, even. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't let your mind go there, okay? I'm sure he's fine. He's probably going to walk in here any minute looking for a cup of coffee, wondering what all the fuss is about. Uh, yeah, coffee. Uh, is that why you're here? You want some? Hey, d don't worry about it, okay? Let me, let me get it. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna, uh, hang out here and stay with you. Thanks. It's gonna be okay. Cool. I'm here. It's gonna be okay. Where is everyone? Dad, oh, taking care of Dad. Somebody get that. Get the hell in there. Come on, that's my son. Hey, Mr. Cooper, I'm sorry. The nurse didn't know who he was or how he got. Down. Who cares who he is? He's somebody's son. He's my son. This is a person with a name, with a family, and you left them here. Nurse. Dad, we need you to step out. I'm not going any place. You left them here. Dad, let them work on him. It's gonna be okay, Cooper. You take care of him. They left him there. What happened? Oh my god, what they happened? Left, they just left him there. Yeah. What do you know, Frank? I don't know anything. I don't even know how he got here. What do you know? Well, as far as I can tell, the car wasn't tampered with, but we did find Coop's cell phone. The last call he received was from Alan. Time may have been about the same time as the car crash. Come on. I gotta find out what's going on. They're gonna tell us as soon as they know. Boss! Where is he? Where is he? There, go! Go! Help! Sweet home. You've, uh, you've really done a lovely job keeping it up. You, uh, do you ever bring flowers? Or no, you probably get somebody to do that. 
I still can't believe that you're actually here. You look great, son. <laughs> you mean for a dead man? I never thought this day would come. You marrying Beth? Well, you know, Alan, I gotta tell you, that's... That's about the last thing that I would have ever expected to. Well, a lot of things have changed since you left. You're right. It doesn't hurt anymore. What? Where you shot me. Next, on I Guiding Light. I couldn't stop. Life. Couldn't stop what? Thinking about my life here. If you'd stayed, if you were still here. If you hadn't shot me! I'll never know why you did it. This is going to be... They were alive when they were embalmed? One twisted episode. You think I'm the only guy who likes to crack open a cold one? The criminal minds. Then, they come to the big city to follow their dreams, but end up living a nightmare. This is a sex trafficking location. They're beaten, drugged, and that's what else. Touch haft. Don't move! Or I'll shoot you. A new CSI New York after Criminal Minds, CBS Wednesday. I think I'll be right at home here. A new CSI is on the sea. This planet is our mother and we're our children. Congratulations. It's a boy. Oh, she was handcuffed. Well, triangles can be deadly. Don't I know it? Of all the words to describe this case. You Ching Zaju. Wow. Have you ever seen anything like this? It all boils down to these two. Minty. Fresh. Don't miss an all new CSI CBS Thursday.